Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 7 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about export data in PDF. So let's see how we can uh, export table data into the PDF. Here I am just going to use DOM PDF package for exporting data into PDF. So first of all install the DOM PDF package. So switch to the command prompt. And here, first of all, stop the running application. So just press Ctrl plus C. Now clear the screen. And here, just run the command for installing the package, which is composer require b a r r y v d h slash laravel dash dom pdf. Okay. Now just press enter. Okay, here is a spelling mistake, so double R. Okay. Now press enter. All right, now it's installing the package. Alright, now package has been installed successfully. Now switch to the project and uh, here just uh, go inside the config folder. Okay, so just open config, then just open app.php file and here just add the providers. Okay, so Let's write here B A very very V D H slash DOM PDF slash service provider. Okay, colon colon class. All right, now add the aliases so. Here, just add PDF very okay very with uh, very VDH slash DOM PDF slash SART slash uh, colon colon class okay now add the comma here now save the file all right now publish the configuration so once again switch to the command prompt and here just write php artisan Art PHP artisan space vendor colon publish dash dash provider is equal to very VDH slash DOM PDF slash service provider. All right, now press enter. Okay, publishing completed. Now just run the application. So just type here PHP artisan child. Okay. Now switch to the browser and just open PHP my admin, localhost PHP my admin. So just click uh, right here localhost slash php my admin. Okay.
now just open the database which is uh, student db okay just open just open the database and inside uh, database just open employees table okay just click in on click on browse and you can see here the table records now i am going to use this table okay for exporting the records into pdf so first of all just switch to the project and uh, just open employee controller so go inside the app folder then http controllers then employee controller okay and uh, here just create a function for getting all employee uh, from this table okay so just create a function public function and the function name let's say function name is get all employees employee okay inside this just create employees variable and employee colon colon all okay and simply return here view and let's say view name is employee all right and just pass this uh, this employees so just write here com uh, comma compact and here inside the single quote just passed just pass this okay employees all right now let's create this view so just go inside the resources folder this is resources folder and here inside the views just create a new blade okay let's say blade name is employees dot blade dot php all right inside the employees dot blade dot php first of all create html5 boilerplate so just press uh, exclamation sign and press tab change the title layer employees all right now add here a table so just write here table in t head and table row pr then th just copy how many columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 times okay 3 4 5 and 6 write the column name which is id name then email and phone email phone then salary and department salary and here department all right now just add here the t body and here first of all add the for each dollar which variable employees okay so just copy and paste here edge dollar emp okay now just add here tr and inside this create td and here just add dollar emp arrow id all right now copy this and paste 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 all right now change the column name name here was email then phone and salary and 
वैकेंसी है डिपार्टमेंट की एड हियर द डबल डबल कर्ड ब्रैकेट ओके इन लारावेल ब्लेड डबल कर्ड ब्रैकेट इज यूज्ड ओके सो जस्ट राइट हियर डबल कर्ड ब्रैकेट All right, all done. Now submit the file, and let's create the routes for this function. So go to the web.php inside the routes folder. So just open route, then web.php, and here just create a route. It and what I which is get all employee. Okay, add here the controller name which is employee controller and create method name which is this. Okay. Get all employee, employee controller, and this. One. Okay, now save the file, and let's check. So go to search to the browser, and here just add the URI get all employee, and you can see here the records. Okay, now let's add some CSS. So go to the employee blade, and here just write a CSS. So just add here a style, and add here the ID for the table. So just write here ID EMP, and here as EMP. Border collapse collapse okay and set width hundred percent as EMP TD comma as EMP TH okay add here the border. Border one pixel solid this this color okay padding eight pixel as EMP GR and child. Even and here set the background color COB FD and this color. Okay, as EMP TH padding top. 12 pixel adding bottom 12 pixel takes a line takes a line left background color This color for CAF five zero and color white. So just write it. Okay. Now save the file 
and uh, let's check so switch to the browser and just refresh the page okay you can see here now table look like this okay now let's export this into the pdf so go to the controller and here employee controller just create another function public function and with the name which is uh, let the download pdf okay and here just uh, page the all employees so just write here employee and all okay then create a pdf variable is equal to pdf now just use the pdf here so just write here use pdf okay already added added here okay so just remove this use this pdf No, just remove this and add here use PDF like this. Okay. Now PDF colon colon load view and here just add the name of the blade file which is employees. Okay, so just write here employees. And pass this variable okay so just write here compact inside the single code just pass the variable all right now simply return dollar pdf and download and here just name uh, put the file name of pdf and so i am just doing right here employee dot pdf employee list okay now save the file now just add the routes for this method so go to the web.php and here create new route route get and here slash download as pdf okay controller name which is employee controller at the rate function name which is download pdf just copy and paste here all right now save the file now Let's check so switch to the browser okay and here just uh, go to the URL which is download PDF okay download PDF so just write here download this PDF okay now press enter you can see here PDF just open with Operator and just OK. Download it, and uh, you can see here the table record inside the PDF. Okay, so in this way you can export data into PDF. So that's all about export data in PDF. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any type kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.